Timber framing brings a sense of warmth, security, and belonging. I'm standing in a community that has of six or eight, six or seven houses, four have timber framing that we've done. And it brings a certain vibe to the whole community, whether or not their other homes have timber framing in them. And we're gonna go ahead and take a close look at the styles of each of these and what they bring to the community. We're also gonna talk about how the characteristics of each style are a combination of seven styles that we've identified in our book, The Art of Hybrid Timber Framing, just pieces of each that really make up kind of a nice, unique look. And the timber framing you're gonna see is really personalized because everybody's different. They have their own taste, what they want, how they roll, how they see beauty. And we're just gonna kind of break down what we see and give you some ideas of things that might work for you and implementing timber framing on your home. And while you're watching, if you could go ahead and smash that subscribe, hit the bell, do the thumbs up. It all helps us, encourages us to put out more content and together we move forward. Behind me, you see a home with white brick, nice muted grays, and the timbers themselves are also gray. And this really brings kind of a modern feel in that everything's really sparse. The timbers themselves go rustic with the geometry, with those angled knee braces like so. That really creates a lot of stability. And for this particular design, when you get a high entry like this, those angled posts do a lot to make things feel human-sized, proportionate, right, scaled, all of that. So you've got kind of some strong geometry, but it's muted by the gray colors, and it goes right in with this modern look. I wouldn't call it modern craftsman. The roof is too complex to be craftsman and also too steep, but it's a nice, unique look. And this look is also, it's not a perfect twin, but it's a sibling on the shop. We also did some things with the roof lines. We were given permission to tinker with the roof lines and the post spreading and the heights to make space to make the timbers look as good as they could. So let's go take a look at the shop. With the shop here, you'll see the same white brick and the gray muted tones. And here we're looking at knee braces supporting roofs. With this particular shop, there was a lot of thought put into roof heights and how to minimize the big, high, lofty presence and massing of the shop. And these roofs do that. On the main body here, See the roof goes around and the knee braces then support that roof extended purposely to create space for the knee braces, which are purposely bigger in the center here. Then on the side, you have smaller knee braces that are still mimicking what we did in the front, the knee braces themselves, that angular geometry with the gray timbers. And this really made the shop just blend with all the, all the architecture that was. So it really feels good and we can help bring things together and personalize designs for people. So here we are at the side of the shop, white brick, gray timbers, gray background. Once you get the theme established, the trained monkey can do this, right? Here, things are a little simple. The king post behind me still has kind of some tapered, which brings some of that geometry and the beam detail on the ends replicate what you see in front and so this just is part of a continuous theme that flows through the whole residence and the last thing we're going to show you with this project is the back patio so more of the same with some little different touches you'll notice right away here this back patio is basically a bigger representation of the front entry and i just said that once the theme is established a trained monkey can do this, but that's actually not true. You're always working with proportions and getting things to feel right. So it's never just lick and stick, but it is a lot easier once the theme is established, but getting the theme established, that is the work of the owners and whoever they hire to influence the design and how things are gonna look and feel. Now, just a short walk away, I'm gonna show you another home that with a different style of timber framing 
in a totally different look, but with the same warmth, security, and belonging that this whole community shares. Let's take a look. Okay, so how would you define this style here? If you were to read the chapter, section two of our book, you'd be seeing seven styles. One I'd like to point out is the color. It goes quite dark. It, it can be darker. European really has dark colors. Another thing that European timber style has is arches. But in this case, the arch waxes a little bit more classic. With European arches, they're really steep and really ornate. Here we still have some relatively simple lines. One thing here with classic and European is you'll see the straight post. That doesn't have the angled post that we've seen on the prior home. And this is more elegant. As far as overall style, I'm gonna call it rustic elegance. And I would put this as classic, just because you've got the arches are not so steep and then the sizes get bigger. With European timbers, back in the day, they had small sizes. So that's really something when you get big timbers and here in the Northwest, we have big logs and that. So I'm sure that influence is going on as well. So you see the brown, the white stone, or whitish stone, and the gray. So this home blends with its community, but it's personalized by the timbers with its style, and the darker color really turned out great. Just a nice example of classic rustic elegance. Okay, now we're on our way over to our next example, and this is really modern sparse, with lighter brown timbers, and the timbers are very elegant. I'd say the timbers themselves I would have to say European because the posts swoop up and a nice soft arch. It's just gentle that way, but pasted against a background that has a lot of white, a lot of modern, clean lines. And again, we're looking at the gray white stone, so it ties with this community and just fits. Come on down. Have you noticed how different these entries are, but yet they fit in? And the entries themselves, you're thinking, okay, timber posts, some beams. It's kind of the same, but yet it can look so different. In this case, you'll notice the top cords, the actual rafters are missing. And that adds to that modern clean look, but you've got that nice, the three rid the ridges. And then the posts swoop down and it kind of starts wide and goes up. It swoops over and goes back down and there's just something really fulfilling and, and that's why this entry looks different than the others, markedly different, but yet it fits in. Okay, so what you're seeing behind me here is two replicas of the front entry on a smaller scale without the vaulted ceiling. So the ceiling's flat, but you still get a piece of that feel and it's simplified. And a vault here could look nice. I really like that it's a little bit simplified. The hierarchy is like it should be. Emphasis on the front door, and then this is visible from the curb, so that goes well. And one other point, you'll see three shops that have the same footprint as the one behind me. The first one was the, the gray timbers, and with the corbels, this one here has the posts and the beams. And the third one you'll see won't really have any timber framing at all, but we're given permission. We started to put timbers on there, so we played with the roof lines to minimize the height. The front was pulled back, and there's a lot of little tricks that these shops, they were a success story for us. And changing look and feel, the same footprint, simply adjusting wall heights here and there, tweak, 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 roof pitches, roof shapes whether it's a skirt roof or a shed roof or whatever it is, there's some power there. And there's just so much you can do with timber. It's kind of exciting. Let's go take a look at the next home, which is already featured in its own video, but it's just a short walk away. We'll go take a look at it and capture some highlights from that. The theme here is coastal modern. And you can find on our YouTube channel, Timber Frame Design and Build channel, you'll find a video exclusively about this. Speaking of themes, I referred to making life easy to where a trained monkey can make decisions for you, if you get your theme right. It takes a lot of work to get there. 
In our book, The Art of Hybrid Timber Framing, chapters one through five is dedicated to the homeowner, the visionary, the person in charge of the project, okay? Understanding what you want is gonna be huge. Chapters one through five gives you a little history of timber framing and then exercises and photos and ideas of how you can understand what you want and communicate that. And then, hey, it's easy street. Your theme is nailed. Thanks again for watching. And as uh, we mentioned, hit that subscribe, hit that like. It helps us move forward. It helps us do the videos, helps us get more content on the web. And that's another place. If you're not a book reader, go to our website. And there's a lot of tips. It's not as concise, not as easy as when you get the book, but there's a lot of tips of understanding who you are, what you want, and how you want to get there. For you, the visionary, defining your journey.